Let's take a look at what's inside the MyPBX standard gift box. Inside in a well protected plastic cover you can see the MyPBX standard device. Below the MyPBX standard device you will find a small box containing all the accessories including user manual, warranty card, power cord, power adapter, network cable and phone cables, Connect one end of the network cable to the LAN port of the MyBBX. And then connect the other end to the port of the gateway. Connect the power cord to the power adapter. And then connect it to the power port. Switch on the MyPBX and you will see the LED indicator lights are now on. When the indicator lights start blinking, the boot process is completed. The LED lights on the front panel indicate the connection status of corresponding ports on the back panel. Now let's connect the PSTN line to the FXO port and analog phone lines to the FXS port. In order to make initial configuration changes, please change the IP address of the PC to match the same network segment as the MyPBX default IP address. The default IP address of MyPBX is 192.168.5.150. Start your browser and enter the default IP address of the MyPBX. Type HTTP colon forward slash forward slash 192.168.5.150 into the browser address bar. When the login page appears, enter the default username which is admin and the default password which is password. Select your local language. After logging in, click LAN settings and change the IP address of the MyPBX, gateway and primary DNS setting according to your local area network. Then click save and apply changes. And remember to reboot the system to make the changes take effect. Then we need to change the IP address of the PC back to its original one. Now you can start the browser and enter the new IP address of the MyPBX.
192.168.1.40 in the address bar to log in to my PBX to make further configuration changes. Click Options in Internal Settings and from here you can change the range of user extension numbers as required. For example 8000 to 8200. Then click Save and apply changes. Click Extensions on the menu bar. Here you can edit or delete the extensions or you can edit or delete the extensions in bulk. Select the extension you'd like to edit and click the Edit the Selected Extensions button and edit them in bulk. This is the same for Delete configuration. You can add extensions one by one or in bulk. If you'd like to add bulk extensions, please specify the quantity, type and which extension number to start from. After the bulk extensions have been added, please click Apply Changes. Click Phone Provisioning. Once you click the Refresh button, the system will automatically detect Yealink, SNOM, Cisco, Astra and Polycom IP phones in the local area network. The displayed IP phones are then able to be configured via the MyPBX web interface directly. You can either configure the selected IP phones in bulk or make detailed configuration one by one. For example, choose the phone type and assign an extension number for registration. Then click Save and apply changes.
After the IP phones have initialized, you can see they are available in the line status page. Now you can try to make internal calls from VoIP extension 8000 to 8007. Here extension 8007 is ringing and shows the caller ID 8000. In order to add FXS extensions, MyPBX requires an S2 or SO module to be installed. In the extensions page, you can edit or delete FXS extension. If you'd like to change the extension number, please delete the extension first and then edit it. After changing the configurations, click Save and Apply Changes. You can now try to make internal call from FXS extension 8300 to VoIP extension 8007. Extension 8007 is ringing and shows the caller ID 8200. Click Outbound Routes and you will see a default outbound route named PSTN Out. Click Edit and you will see the default dial pattern is 9 and one digit will be stripped from the front of the dialed number. This means that when making outbound calls the user should dial the prefix 9 followed by the required phone number and the system will automatically delete one prefix number i.e. the 9 before dialing out the number. Then select the extensions such as 8007 or all of the extensions from the available extension box and move them to the selected box. Only the extensions in the selected box are able to make calls through this outbound route. In this route the PSTN trunk is the default selected trunk. Now you can try to make an outbound call to a mobile phone via this new outbound route. The call is connecting. Select Inbound Routes and click Edit. Please note that only the trunks in the selected box are able to use this inbound route. Here you are able to select different destinations for the incoming calls on different times and days. For example, select IVR as the destination for both office hours and non-office hours. Then, all the incoming calls of the selected trunk will be routed to the IVR directly during business days. Now you can try to call the trunk number of this inbound route using a mobile phone. Once the call connects, you can hear the IVR. At this point, you can dial the extension 8007 following the prompt.
Thank you for watching.